everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year! I'm so sorry it took so long for me to post a video in this new year, but I have been terribly busy with my diploma, which I presented this week, so yay for me! <laughs> also, yes, I coated my hair. <laughs> it is very short, I went crazy. I just, I don't know, I was feeling I needed to change big this year so I did it, I cut it and I really hope you guys like it like this. So a couple of months ago the International Organization of Migration contacted me um, because of this campaign they are uh, having and I'm going to read because it's more accurate if I read it. The organization has been undertaking initiatives to combat xenophobia and discrimination against people around the world and so they gave me this challenge uh, called the migrant challenge hashtag I am a migrant where I am supposed to talk a little bit about my journey as a migrant where did I move uh, how did I feel when I arrived the problems I faced and so on so since I know a lot of you guys uh, have moved or are thinking about moving to a different country I thought that maybe this was uh, a really good video to make and of course I love to contribute to this kind of initiatives which are great and also because I felt this would be the right time to do it since this week is officially four years since I moved to Norway so everything kind of like made sense to me so I really hope you enjoyed this video so I never wanted to move to a different country to be honest I dreamed about traveling the whole world and taking like a year or two just to travel around the world but then always coming back to my country Portugal and then when I was ending my bachelor's in architecture back in Lisbon I started to have all of these ideas to move to study abroad just for like a semester or a year nothing more than that and so I decided to go to Norway also I have to say I absolutely hate changes for me everything should be the same all the time this kind of decision was a lot for me like it was very adventurous for me to decide and to take on I already talked a lot about this in other videos I was completely horrified at the end I met a lot a lot of people I had this gigantic group that was basically my family and everything was amazing the thing was that completely ruined my plan I met my boyfriend now Daniel and we decided that well it was mostly his idea it made sense at the time that we came to Oslo and tried to look for an internship which we didn't so we had to return to Portugal and we decided to stay there and then a couple of months after Daniel found a job in Norway and had to move here because it was a really good opportunity and he would be staying here a long time and so me like crazy <laughs> without thinking too much I put myself into a plane, came to Oslo and told myself that I had to find a job within one month and if I didn't, I would go back to Portugal. I did find a job, I internship for one year, then I applied to school here, I studied here all of these years until now and at the end, I am a migrant. <laughs> I didn't decide I'm going to move to another country and stay there forever. I just decided I'm going to study there for a couple of months and then go back to my country and then I stayed and stayed and stayed and I'm still here. And then I think I started to feel like I had two different lives, the one in Portugal with my family and like older friends and the one in Oslo with my boyfriend and my newest friends and my job. So it is very strange and when I am here in Oslo I miss a lot Portugal and I want to go there and then when I go there after a couple of weeks I terribly miss Oslo and I want to move to Oslo and then I return to Oslo and I feel like I miss Portugal again another thing that people ask me all the time all the time is is it easy to make friends is it easy to get a really close group of friends of course it's not easy especially in the beginning if you don't know anyone 
me and Daniel, we had each other, and then slowly we started to make friends. I can say it took four years, like until now. I think only now I am feeling I have like a fixed group of friends. And so you just have to be open minded, try to get to know as many people as you can, go to parties. Put yourself into extra activities like the gym. Since I move and I feel like I'm the foreign one, things have absolutely changed. For example, when I meet a Portuguese person on the street that I have no idea who that person is and we just realize we are both Portuguese so we maybe we start to talk. I feel like we know each other even though we don't. Just because that person is Portuguese, which is very, very weird. Also, when I get to know people from other countries here in Norway, it's like we are all the same country. Like, I don't feel we are from different countries anymore. What I mean with this is, when I was in Portugal, every time I met someone from another country, I would feel like it was really cool to meet those persons because they were from other places in the world, they had a different culture, I was automatically interested in them, you know, or or if I saw tourists on the streets, they were like, ooh, those are tourists, you know? And since I moved and I am the migrant, I am the person from a different country, I feel the same as everyone. Even if I meet or see a person from a different country now, I don't feel anything like oh, he's from a different country. No, it's just another person. I don't know if this makes sense. I do feel Norwegians are a little bit more curious. If I say I'm from Portugal, they would ask me a lot of questions and, you know, because most of them really like Portugal and think I'm exotic in some way. <laughs> but besides that, I never felt I was treated differently because I'm Portuguese. And I think that especially if you know how to speak Norwegian, Norwegians will mostly take you in, at least in Oslo. I'm not sure about like outside of Oslo, how open-minded people are. Overall, I think I had a very nice experience of like moving to a different country. Of course, I had really rough times, but I'm sure a lot more people have rougher times. So I was very lucky in that sense and to be honest now I feel that Norway is also part of me even though I'm not Norwegian. I just want to say that if you are going to move and you are freaking out because of it or if you just moved and you are going through a rough time, at some point you will feel like the country you move to is your home in a way and you will feel independent and on a new adventure and then if one day you'll go back to your old country you will feel wiser, you will have a lot of stories to tell, everyone will have a lot of questions to ask and curiosity about all your journey and that's amazing, that makes you a little bit more special, it makes you grow as a person and you should be proud of it. And if you're watching this and you're not going to move but you know people who moved or who just moved to your own country. Just try to be nice and think that they are just people just like you. They're probably going through difficult times or have gone through amazing adventures to get where they are now. Be respectful and friendly. Just be friendly. They are just people and it could be, it could be you. I'm sorry I'm with a cold so my voice is a little bit weird. But I would love for you to write down in the comments your experience on moving to a different country or your fears about moving or if you know someone that moved that has an amazing story just tell us all about it on the comments so everyone could read and feel that they aren't alone and yeah, I truly hope you enjoyed this video and that you have an amazing week I will see you next week with another video oh and next week's video is from the past it's from 2017 it's a video I filmed with my friend I have long hair so don't think it's weird I just really like the video and I wanted to upload it anyway so yeah I'll see you guys next week goodbye